Okay, so today what we're going to do is the rhythm of Pokemon. So I have all of these Pokemon up here on the board, and we are going to match their names to the rhythms over here. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we know how to clap each of these rhythms before we fit them with the name. So the very first thing we have, we have two different types of notes up here. One of them looks like this. What type of note is that? Yes, sir. It is a quarter note. So I'm going to write quarter note up here. And while I'm doing that, think about how long a quarter note lasts. How long does a quarter note last? Yes, sir. One beat. One beat. Okay, so I'm going to write the number one right there. The other type of note that we see up here looks like this. What type of note? that one? Yes, ma'am. Eighth, eighth note. Is that one eighth note or two eighth notes together? Two. Two together. So if I have two of those together, how long does one of those dots last? Mm, yes, ma'am. <coughs> half of a beat. So here's half and here's half. Okay? Good. Now if we wanted to clap four quarter notes in a row, we would just clap four times. One, two, three, four. Let's just clap four this time. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. If we wanted to clap four sets of eighth notes together, we would say one and two and. The second half is always and. So let's clap four sets of those eighth notes together. One and two and three and four and. Very good. Wait, so you put an and next to it? Mm -hmm. Second half is always and. So now let's look at our first box over here. And in this box, we have a set of eight, eight, eight notes and a quarter, quarter, quarter note. So I'm always going to start with beat one, right? Mm -hmm. Start at the beginning. So beat one, what am I going to put on the second half of that eighth note? Mm -hmm. Not one. And. I'm going to put and. Second half is always and. Okay, well that takes up that whole beat, so let's move on to beat two. two. All right, so I'm gonna put a two here. So to clap this one, we would say one and two. One and two. Good, we'll come back to that in just a minute, okay? So let's go on to number two right here. I'm gonna start with beat one. <laughs> that beat's already taken, so I move on to. Oh, do I put a name right there? No. Oh, wait, no. The and goes on the second half of an eighth note. So this starts beat two, and then there's an and. Good. Okay. So this one is one, two, and. One, two, and. Okay. Now, look at number one. Look at number two. What do you notice about box one and box two? Yes, sir. They're backwards. They're swapped. Opposite. Okay? So, we got to look at these when we're, when we're going to our Pokemon over here. You got to listen for where the short sounds and long sounds are on this one. If you look at this one, where are the short sounds at the beginning or the end? Class. Beginning. beginning. It's at the very beginning. And the, the long sound is at the end. Then if you look at number two, the long sound is at the beginning. beginning. And then the short sounds are at the yeah. end. So I want you to clap number one. Ready, go. One, two. One. I want you to clap number two. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, we'll come back to those two in just a minute. Look at number three. What kind of notes do we have in number three? Yes. We have two eighth notes. Two sets of eighth notes. Very good. So I'm going to start with one, one and, and two, and two and, and. Okay. Would anyone like to clap this one for us? <gasps> Come here. Clap it for us. Perfect. One and two and. Everybody. One and two and. Very good. 
All right, now let's look at number four. What kind of notes do we have in number four? Hmm, yes ma'am. We have two quarter notes. So how am I gonna count this one? I'm gonna start with one, one, one two, and two. Why are there no ands on this one? Yes ma'am. There's no ands, there's no ands. So no ands. All right, now here's your challenge. I'm gonna call a number. Oh, we didn't clap number four. Let's yeah. clap number four. Ready, go. One, one two. two. Let's clap number four again. One, one two. two. All right, now. Let's, I'm gonna call a number, and you gotta clap that, that number, okay? You ready? Oh, let's start with three. One and two and. One. One and two. Two. One two and. Two. Ooh, let's do number two again. One, two and. Number four. One, two. Number one. You gotta watch out for one and two because they sound kind of similar, but you're listening for what are we listening for in one and two? The long sounds and short sounds. Okay, now um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clap the names of some of these Pokemon and we're gonna place them in the box that they belong in. So we're going to start with. Bulbasaur. Yay! Clap Bulbasaur. Uh, Bulbasaur. Okay, now first thing I want you to do is tell me how many sounds are in Bulbasaur. Show me with your fingers how many sounds are in that name. Good. There are three sounds. Okay, so could Bulbasaur go in number four? No. Why can't Bulbasaur go in number four? Yes, sir. Because it only has two sounds. Good. Okay, could Bulbasaur go in number three? No. no. Why not? Hmm. Houston. It doesn't have, like, instead of four, it has three. So this one has three sounds. This one has four sounds. It won't quite work, will it? No. All right. Could Bulbasaur go in number two? Yes. yes. Maybe. We'll come back. Could Bulbasaur go in number one? Yes. Yes, yes maybe. Okay, so here's the trick. When we clap Bulbasaur, we gotta figure out, is the short sound at the beginning or the end of the name? Ooh. Bulbasaur. So I want you to raise your hand and show me with your fingers which box Bulbasaur belongs in. How do we know that it goes in box one? Yes. Go hmm? The long sound is at the yeah. end of Bulbasaur. So I'm going to write him right here. Don't get the three in it. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, are we doing all of them today? I got it. All right. So we've done Bulbasaur. Let's go down and do Squirtle. Yeah. Squirtle. Everybody. Squirtle. How many sounds are in Squirtle? Show me with your fingers. Yes. Two sounds. Okay, look up here. Which box, show me with your fingers, which box is Squirtle going to belong in? And you have to tell me how you know it's gonna belong in that box. Hmm. How do you know that Squirtle goes in box four? Um, because there's two beats. There are two beats and Squirtle. Sounds. Two sounds in Squirtle. There are two sounds in Squirtle and two sounds and four. Very good. Do any of the other ones have just two sounds? No. No, so this is the only one. All right, the next one we are going to do is Charmander. 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 How many sounds are in Charmander? Show me with your fingers. Three, good. So, could Charmander go in four? No. Could Charmander go in no. three? No. Could Charmander go in yeah. two? Yes. Could Charmander yes. go in four? Yes. So, when we clap Charmander, 
We need to listen for where the long and short sounds are. Show me with your fingers which box Charmander will belong in. How do you know that it goes in box two? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're exactly right. The slow sounds at the beginning, the two faster sounds are at the end for Charmander. All right, we're going to skip down to my favorite one, Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Try clapping that one again. Vaporeon. I thought it was vapor. Okay, so show me how many sounds are in Vaporeon. Ooh, double check yourselves. Okay, there are four sounds in Vaporeon. Which box is Vaporeon gonna be belong in? Show me with your fingers. Number three, how do we know that Vaporeon's gonna go in number three? Go ahead. Four sounds in Vaporeon, four sounds in number three. Do any of the other ones have four sounds? No. no. Okay, so what you're going to do next, if you are in a younger grade, you are going to work on this with your teacher. You will put it all up here on the board. If you are in the older grades, you are going to work with your partner to put the rest of these Pokemon into the correct boxes, okay? Questions, comments, cares, concerns? You're crazy, Miss Austin. You can turn it off. <laughs>